I, I, I have the honor of, of introducing our final speaker, and I'll just share very briefly how we first met. I first met Jeff in the cafeteria at the basement of Stanford Business School, and I learned a lot about Microsoft in my first hour because the first half hour was Jeff berating me with difficult questions that I had to answer. And then the second half hour was after he offered me a job and then tried to convince me for a half hour to accept the job on the spot. So I had sort of the full Microsoft experience right in that first hour. Uh, Jeff really doesn't need an introduction to this group. He has many titles. Um, he, purportedly, he's part owner of a professional baseball team, although there's some dispute about that. We're working on the professional part, correct, Jeff? Is that? <laughs> he gets to speak last, so I'm not too worried. About, I'm not too worried about where we're going. Um, of course, he's the chief executive officer of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, chairman of the board of the Microsoft Alumni Foundation, and co-founder of the Rakes Foundation. But, there was one title they didn't give me, which I think in some ways may be as closest to Jeff's heart, and that is that he's a farmer and an agriculturalist, and I think that really plays into what he's doing with the Gates Foundation. So please welcome Jeff Rakes. Well, thank you, Robbie. Robbie also holds the record of being the only guy I interviewed that came with his pants split. <laughs> and so at the after party, you'll get a chance to hear that story. Uh, well, I want to thank also all of you for being here this evening. I mean, this is an amazing evening, very inspiring. On behalf of all of the members of the board of the Microsoft Alumni Foundation, we want to congratulate all the winners. You know, the judges clearly had tough decisions to make. And we really respect and appreciate the diligence that the fellows committee and the judges panel put into these selections. And weren't those stories, the videos that you saw of the finalists, just amazing? Can't we just give them another round? You know, the board felt so strongly about these finalists, that we chose to make an award to the remaining finalists. Nancy Andrews, Manaj Javid, and Kevin Ross will each receive a $5,000 grant from the <laughs> Alumni Foundation. So congratulations. And another addition this year was the idea of a Member's Choice Award. This allowed the members of the Microsoft Alumni Foundation to vote for the other nominees and select an organization that would receive a $2,000 grant. So I'm very pleased to announce that Njajika Harry of Youth for Technology will receive that $2,000 grant. And I want to also throw out uh, my congratulations to Scott, uh, Scott Oakey. Scott was the the guy who strong-armed me in that Clyde Hill Tullys, <laughs> along with Chuck Hirsch, to be uh, the chairman of the Microsoft Alumni Foundation Board. And I just have one question for Scott. When you list all of those nonprofits, do you include the golf courses? I, I, I don't understand how that works. <laughs> Look, I'm a farmer. I understand nonprofits. Uh, well, I also want to recognize the judges. Uh, I think we're joined tonight by Phyllis Campbell, Bill Drayton, and Tom Tierney, and I'd like them to stand and for all of us to thank them, uh, thank them for their <laughs> serving us. And I'd also like to thank the Integral Fellows Committee, all of the committee members, and especially Sharon Maggie and Steve Wells. They have done a tremendous job. Please stand. The, all of the, the committee. My thanks to them. They continue to enhance and improve the program and process every year. It's just been fabulous and inspiring for us all. And our board at the Microsoft Alumni Foundation has grown. Uh, we've been joined in the last year by Carla Lewis, Don Trudeau, and Craig Bruyer. And they join the existing board members of Tony Audino, Paul Shoemaker, Sharon Maggie, Chuck Hirsch, Actor Badshaw, and Brad Smith. So please, would the board stand and be recognized? <laughs> uh, 
I want you to know how much I really appreciate the leadership and guidance that you provide to the, the organization. And of course, Mary Lou, you're amazing. Thank you, Mary Lou. Mary Lou's got a great team, and she's a great leader of that team. Well, tonight you've had the opportunity to hear about many Act Twos. And I'm very fortunate to have a great Act Two myself. Uh, the chairman of the Microsoft Alumni Foundation, and of course, I'm grateful to Bill and Melinda for the opportunity to be the CEO of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And so you're probably sitting there saying, well, you know, Jeff on his act two, he kind of got a twofer. <laughs> but I get to work with the co-founder of the Rakes Foundation, Trisha Rakes, so I get the trifecta. <laughs> Thank you, honey. And I was inspired tonight, and I'm sure all of you were, by, many of, um, by much of what we saw in the, the videos. But in particular for me, one of the things that, that stood out was the quote from uh, Manaj Javid when she said, philanthropy defines who we are and helps us be the best we can be. I felt those were very, very powerful words. And I think that that's true for us as individuals. I think it's true of our community, and I also think it's true of your organization, our organization, the Microsoft Alumni Foundation. Philanthropy defines our organization. We do philanthropy. How? The Integral Fellows and how they inspire us. The Day of Caring, which was supported by Brad and Actar and the Microsoft Corporation. The Loaned Executive Program, Volunteer Manager, Programs, information, connections, and opportunity. When we connect with each other, we exponentially magnify the impact to the individuals and the communities that we reach. And of course, the return comes back to ourselves. And so as we embark upon any of our adventures beyond Microsoft, our own Act Twos, let's connect and collaborate, and let's do at least one thing together, philanthropy. Now, as part of this concept, the embodiment we see as an oath. We've developed an oath. And what I'd like to do tonight is to share that with you. I want it to be our philanthropic oath. I want to ask each of you to step up and sign the oath. Make it your own oath. Because as we connect together in this community around this common thought, we can once again change the world. So let me share the oath. That we pledge to share our time, our talent, and our resources to make a difference for others. We envision a world in which everyone has the opportunity to live healthy, happy, and productive lives, free from fear and full of joy. We commit that it is our duty and our honor to care about the welfare of others. And we accept that we are all interconnected and the work we do for the benefit of others is exponentially increased through collaboration. That is the oath. So together, individually and as a community, we do philanthropy. And what we'd like you to do is to sign on to the oath tonight. You can find in the after party the Microsoft Skittles the employees of the Microsoft Store, and you can look at that really cool Samsung slate that they're carrying around, and you can sign on to the oath. In fact, I think we have a head start in doing that. And you can use your Windows 7 phone, and you can like the oath on your Windows 7 phone. I'm told that other devices can do that too. I, I wouldn't know about those other devices. But whatever vehicle you choose to use, step up and sign on to the oath. 
Well, for me, this has been another very inspiring evening. And I hope that what we do is to continue to connect and collaborate and remember that together we do philanthropy. Thank you very much.